Okay, we're going to install Inkstitch 2.0 into Inkscape 1.1 in Windows 10. And there's a couple of issues that we're going to try to fix where your menus are grayed out once you get it installed. I think I have the fix for that. Let's find out. So I have Ink Stitch, no, Inkscape. Wrong button. I have Inkscape 1.1 installed. If you don't have 1.1 installed, head over to inkscape.org, grab it, install it, and then come back. Really some nice new features in 1.1. And I'll link the video that I just did with an overview of Inkscape 1.1 and the new features, really nice. So, if you already have Inkstitch installed and you're upgrading, you will need to remove the old one. So, go into Preferences, your user extensions. If you only have Inkstitch, then you can Control A, which is Select All, and then Shift D, shift delete and that bypasses the recycling bin is why I like to do it so I'm going to delete all of these I'm going to leave this open and we're going to go into the file browser I'm already in the file browser I'm going to go to downloads you can tell I'm not a I'm not a resident Windows 10 user, but I'll try to limp along. Okay, I have my Inkstitch 2.0 downloaded. I'm going to select Extract All. I'm going to extract it to the default folder that it extracts to. So once you have Inkstitch extracted into its folder, going to single click the top one scroll down to the bottom and shift click or as I did before once you click that top one you can just control A to select all control C to copy now we need to go back into ink stitch preference location extensions open that back up just control V will paste or hit the little paste button up here at the top left. That also works. Now that we've done that, you need to restart Inkscape. This is a welcome screen that Inkscape 1.1 now has. You can click just time to draw, hit new document, it'll take you into Inkscape. Let's see if our extensions is there it is and they are available if they are grayed out here's a couple things to try they didn't gray out on me so I can't confirm these will work but what I'm hearing it will go back into your preferences open that user extension folder I'm gonna highlight this right here I'm going to right click and copy once you've done that, hit your Windows button, go to Security. Uh, we want the Virus Threat Protection. And Virus Threat Protection is there. Where is Settings? Ah, right there, Manage Settings. What you're looking for is Exclusions, Add Exclusion, Folder. Right there where it says Folder, Control-V or right-click and paste. Select Folder. It will ask you, are you sure? Yes. So now that folder is excluded from the Virus Protection. If you have Virus Protection that is not Windows Defender, like McAfee, McAfee, one of those, any of those, you'll have to figure it out how to do it on your own for specifically for the antivirus that you have. 
and if you have grayed out options once you've done that you may have to restart inkscape once you've done that you should not have grayed out options anymore just a real quick overview of ink stitch 2.0 uh we have commands edit you can now duplicate parameters and you can restack objects fill tool break apart is the same font management is new you can do a custom font directory generate json remove kerning lettering got to check out the lettering because they have a lot of new fonts pre-installed this is really nice all of these fonts are pre-installed in ink stitch 2.0 params the parameters is set up a little differently so that'll be something we'll have to get used to i'm used to linux side of things so i don't know how much different this looks for you what else we got there's your thread color management install color palettes that used to be called install add-ons and then troubleshoot same visual is the same so that is installing ink stitch on windows 10 a nice quick little overview thanks for watching